you jolly mariners who loves to take a dram. I'll tell you of a rubber boat who over the sea then come. He's known to letter to the king in the 11th of July to see if he would accept a hem of his jovial company. Scotland has had many great wars throughout history and has shaped the country as we know it today. The country has also had many internal conflicts throughout history. Like, for example, the horrible massacre by young Scottish king, James II. In November of 1440, the newly appointed 6th Earl of Douglas, who was just 16, and his little brother David were invited to the 10-year-old king of Scotland, James II, for dinner at Edinburgh Castle. But it wasn't the young king who had invited the Douglas brothers. The invitation had been issued by Sir William Crichton, Councillor of Scotland, who feared that the Black Douglas were growing too powerful. As legend has it, the children were all getting along marvelously, enjoying food, entertainment, and talking until the end of the dinner, when the head of a black bull was dropped on the table, symbolizing the death of the Black Douglas. The two young Douglases were dragged outside, giving a mock trial found guilty of high treason and beheaded. It's said that the Earl pleaded for his brother to have killed first so that the younger brother wouldn't have to witness his older brother's beheading. That was just one of many horrible events that happened throughout Scottish history. Loch Ness is a huge, deep, freshwater lake in the Scottish Highlands. Loch Ness is also the lake home of the Loch Ness monster also known as Ness. Ness is known to be a large unknown animal and they have no real evidence for it existing. Just some mysterious photos that can't be proved real or fake. Scotland has also done many great inventions such as cars like wood and fax machines, Halloween, bridges, motorway, microwaves, pencilling, postcards, steam engine, telephone, Backpipes, television, whiskey, advertising films, and artificial diamonds. Scotland has a population of approximately 5,327,000 individuals. At least that's what it was 2013. The total land area of Scotland is 78,387 square kilometers. Scottish people speak three different national languages. English, quite obvious, Scottish Gaelic, and also Scots. And here is an example of a man speaking Scots. Maggie was a hoodroomy bachel. It was I who she was in a hundred other folks' backs. She was not kelp but altogether just a kind of dirty clean. The house was not exactly minging but actually smelled quite fresh. She was flat fitted and back at her shin when she walked. She had worked as a walk. The flag of Scotland looks like this. The two national symbols of Scotland are a thistle and a lion. The national animal of Scotland is the unicorn, making Scotland the only country in the world to have a fictional thing as a nationality. I guess that maybe it was to attract visitors in the past, when people actually believed in those things. Scotland has a variety of foods. Some of them are like our food, and others are not. For example, they have this soup called cockle soup, which consists of leaves and chicken stock, sometimes garnished with prunes and thickened with rice. Personally, I think it sounds pretty good, at least the one without the prunes. They also have something that is like our oatmeal porridge, scurvy. It's a Scottish dish eaten during breakfast, and it's fried oatmeal and it's onions and seasoning. I don't think that sounds good at all. In Scotland, they have yearly goat races. And ever since 2012, they basically release goats to run around and chase each other. And the one who finishes that first wins the game. 